Hello, today I'd like to show you my mechanical pop-up dinosaur. Now this is a project which has changed an awful lot since I first started it. It's gone through a lot of evolution, but I'm really, really pleased with the finished result and I hope you think it's cool as well. So it's as simple as this. You see this button on the front? You simply press that and then all at once, his arm lifts up, his whole back pivots so that the head lifts up, and also, because I put LEDs in the eyes, of course I did, his eyes light up too, which I think is really cool. So what I'd like to take you through in this video is first of all the 3D prints and how I design them and they all fit together. And then a little bit on the electronics. So on the underneath there's some electronics going on there, wires coming up the back which you'll see into his eyes, all that kind of good stuff. And then I'll do a little montage of how it fits together. And finally, just a little bit more detail and some close-ups of the actual finished working mechanism. So I'm going to get started now with the 3D prints. My original intention for this project was to have a little box which would pop up when you got a notification like an email and it would reveal its eyes which would sort of flash and it would have a little button on its head which you could press to dismiss the notification. And I built a mechanism which would drive this upward pop-up motion but unfortunately I found that it was really bulky and really wouldn't fit inside the box which I intended it to once I'd finished designing it. At this point I decided to repurpose it as a dinosaur so I added a spine, a head, that kind of thing to create the dinosaur you see in this video. To begin with, for this project, I ordered my 3D prints from a service, which is what I've been doing for a long time. But halfway through, it was my birthday, and I actually got my very own 3D printer. And I've had great fun with it, although a couple of teething troubles, but now I'm there, and every print you see in this project, which is either blue or black, actually was printed by me on my new 3D printer. So keep an eye out for those. So at the heart of this project is a 3D printed rack and pinion system which uses a gear like this and it meshes into this 3D print here causing upward and downward movement. So the actual servo you see here fits into this and that fits on nicely like that and as it rotates it causes this up and downward movement. Now the servo actually moves up and down on this little sliding red bit here whilst the green bit you see here stays stationary. And it's got, if you see these yellow bits in the middle here, Oh, no, you can't see them. Oh, you can see them here. Ah, the yellow bits here, which guide it as it goes up and down so that it never comes out of its groove, which is really nice. And they make for a really nice sliding mechanism. Very smooth, really. So as that goes up and down, it pushes this rod here. And the arm pivots around this point and gets lifted up as the rod moves up and down. And that's where the arm motion comes from. Finally, on the top, we've got these two bits and they slide into the two sections of the spine and lift it up as they push up, which causes the rotation of the head. I think that's a pretty neat overview really, isn't it? So that's the, the heart of the mechanics you've just seen there. So as for the electronics, it's based around an Arduino, which you can see here. So what I did was prototyped it up on breadboard and then soldered it up to create a permanent circuit. Now this has a button, which you'll have seen. This is a light up button with an LED in and that plugs into this little header here so they're all nicely connected up. Now I have the stand here, which the dinosaur stands on, funnily enough, and the wires for this pop through and the button sits there really nicely at the front like that. Now as it does, its wires hop through here and you'll see these pillars. Now that's actually where the circuit board screws into. So it's got these holes and they just fit nicely like that. So that all mounts up really nicely and fits in place rather well. The last bit is that you'll see in the back of the dinosaur stand a hole here. And what I've done is I've actually created a little extra circuit board, a tiny little one, which I've soldered up with these bits here, and that slots on top of the Arduino like this. Now once I've got that and I put it back in its place, not only does it connect to the bottom, but these bits actually slot through and then it screws into place with these pointing through lovely and flush with the bottom of the stand. And then I can just plug the wires in for the dinosaur, for his servos and for his eyes, the LEDs and the eyes, just right into there. How nice is that? All right, so now you've had a good overview of how the 3D prints work and how the electronics fit together to control the dinosaur. Now it's time for my favorite bit, which is where I'll show you a montage of me putting it all together to build the finished dinosaur. Enjoy.
So here we have it, one finished assembled mechanical dinosaur. So all the 3D prints are now working together with this nice rack and pinion system to generate the mechanical movement for this project. I've got the spine and the head pivoting nicely around this point here so that it can lift up. And we've also got the servos in there ready to do all the rotation and the movement. Speaking of which, we've got the electronics wired up. So we've got the button which lights up nicely as the dinosaur goes up and down. And the electronics on the bottom there with what well, I might say so myself, is this really rather nicely designed little bolt-on shield which allows these connectors to come through the stand for the dinosaur and then they all go up the top here. The eyes go up here and then also down the middle we have the wires for the servos. So that's it all assembled. The last thing to do is to show you some nice close-up shots of the mechanism working and the dinosaur doing what he does best. Enjoy! So there we have it, one finished project. That's the dinosaur all done. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did building it and creating it. So if you'd like to find out anything more about the project, then I've actually written a blog post which has got everything from the lessons I learned to the code and the 3D print files, and then also some schematics of the circuitry and that kind of thing. You're also more than welcome to ask me an interest in the comments if there's anything you think I've missed out or you'd like to know about more. Always enjoy that, that's always good to read. So apart from that, I think that's me done. On to the next project and I'll see you next time. Cheers.